I'm in West Tennessee. Ruben and I are currently headed to Texas to chase the Code 5 rarities down there. And we decided to stop on the way at a longered owl roost that's being kept secret so the photographers don't harass them. And the highest count before for Tennessee is six, and we see nine sitting here right now. There's probably more. We're now up to 10 long-eared owls in this roost. But it's hard to see a lot of them from any one angle. Right there you can see the one that's the most in the open. And right below him you can see the head of the second one. But there's four in that tree. And then three just to the right of that and three off to the left. It's now March, and once again we're stopping for owls in West Tennessee on the way to Texas. March the 5th, Ruben and I are on our way to South Texas to go look for hookbill kites and the traffic was so bad we stopped over in near Dallas at White Rock Lake. Swimming in the Rio Grande River. It's really, really hot. Ruben and I are out here looking for the red-billed pigeons. And so while he looks for pigeons, I swim. The bat falcon was there to greet us at Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge, perched up by the entrance eating a bat. After over two months, it still attracts a daily crowd of admirers. Can you figure out which one is me? Yep, it's the lonely single one on the bottom that's not getting any love.
third day of looking for a hook, solid day of looking for a hook book tight at Vance Rio Grande State Park came to an abrupt end with a huge nasty rainstorm. The weather went from 70 degrees to 40 degrees like it saw a state trooper. And conditions are terrible, so we're soaking wet, wet as waterlogged rats trying to get out of here alive. Yet another rainy day in paradise, looking for hook-billed kites and finding none. Can you hear that chip call? Hello, it's March the 8th. I'm in Texas, and I'm up in a ruby-red grapefruit tree, and they're the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> 